Welcome to this second in a series of videos on packet capture files. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netforge Technologies. So here I've got my Wireshark loaded up, now you could also use Microsoft Network Monitor. And I'm going to capture data on my local port here on my laptop. So it's got a capture interfaces. Select the, uh, the local Ethernet port here, which is this one with the IP address, and click Start. So I'm just not, not going to save the um, the other capture file I had created there. So I'm starting to capture file here, the data that's going in and out of my network card. So next thing I'm going to do is going to generate a bit of traffic. I'm going to go to YouTube here and I'm going to play a video. So just to go back here to Wireshark. I will start to see a lot more data coming and going. So there we go. There's a lot more data coming in and out uh, my laptop at the moment. So just pause this video now. And I'm going to stop the capture. Now, the next thing I want to do, I could scroll through all of these packets here just to figure out what connections were being made, what my laptop was connecting to. But it's quite a, quite a bit of detail there. So to help with this, I'm actually going to save the capture file. I would just call it Capture 2. Okay, so that all of that data is now stored within a single file on my laptop. Next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to load up my LangGuardian. Now, if you do not have a LangGuardian on your network, if you go to www.netforgetechnologies.com, you can download the free trial today. Link is also shown here on the video. So if you install, you can either download an ISO, so you can install it on a PC, or you can install it on a server, you can download the OVA file and, and install it as a virtual machine. You could also install, use the ISO to install as a virtual machine as well. So it takes a couple of minutes to install. Once you have it installed, and log on, so you log on HTTPS to the IP address you signed, go to Sensors, and add a new sensor. Select PCAP file, and go. So we can give it a name here, I'm just going to call it PCAP Sensor, and save that. So once you save that, there's a new sensor added here, and you just click on PCAP file upload. Let's browse for the file. Now I've got two files here, um, captured them from today. So you can load up any of them here, and you click on the upload option. So what happens now is this LangGuardian system will read all the data from inside that packet capture file. So all of those hundreds and thousands of packets that are being captured, the LangGuardian is now processing those, just like when the traffic was moving up and down my network connection here. So depending on the packet capture, the size of the file, it could take a couple of minutes for the system to process the data within those files. And the reports available here, we're going to take a look at a couple of minutes. We're going to take a look at banner reports. We're going to take a look at drilling down and finding out what happens. So the file has been uploaded. The final thing we need to do here is click on the process button. And that now starts to generate some of the reports in the background. And again, it just takes a couple of minutes, depending on the size of capture file that you've uploaded to the LangGuardian system. The license that you, if you've just installed LangGuardian, you've got, you've got a fully featured license for 30 days. So we now have the status here that our file has been processed. So let's take a look at what happened on the network during the time when I was capturing that data. So we go to bandwidth, IP traffic distribution. Take a look at the last hour. Just make sure here you select the packet capture sensor and run the report. So here we get a breakdown of the protocols that are in use on the network at this time. We get a graph here as well showing actually in that case there was two large data transfers. One would say large with a couple of megabytes. So I've got some Microsoft file sharing and I've got some web traffic. So with the LangGuardian we can drill down now and find out, okay, what was my laptop accessing here? So here's my laptop, drill down, and I find out here it's on YouTube, which I was watching videos there. So I can see exactly what was going on. If my PC or my laptop was connecting to uh, suspicious websites, maybe with spyware or malware, we would see some strange activity here when we would drill down on the web traffic, some unusual domain names. I could drill down on any of these protocols to find out what's happening. So Microsoft file sharing traffic here, drill down, I see my system here has been connected to a local server on the network. So it makes it really easy to analyze data which you've captured within packet capture files. Once you're finished with your capture file, we go back to sensors, 
pick a file upload and you can delete away the capture file now and you can up create another capture file using your Wireshark application or using Net Microsoft Network Monitor. Okay, that's our short gu guide on processing packet capture files. Thank you.